No filter. March 12th, take one. All right. Oh, John, take it away. We're talking about all sorts of sports movies and Pokemon maps. Okay. Whole bunch of stuff. And jokes. And jokes. <laughs> Can't forget those jokes. All right. Well, today, uh, I want to talk about something that we've kind of been uh, brushing over this whole week, and it's with the weather getting nicer, um, going outside, talking about some hobbies. So I kind of wanted to go around the room, talk about hobbies that we currently have, and talk about one thing you want to try this spring with the weather getting nicer, that stuff. So what we already do and something we want to try. Um, Brad, yeah. I think you're up for it? Um, I guess, but... Well, obviously, something you know, I, I, my most uh, hobby outside is, is walking, and um, besides that, I don't, I don't know what else I can be into. I mean, that's something I'm, I've, I've been working on for a while. I mean, I mean, I don't like a swim or anything. I mean, I don't fish. I mean, I mean, at least any more besides a walk, I'd be, I'd be uh, into. So, what about something that involves uh, walking? So maybe, maybe hiking, maybe going on, you know up mountains or something to see nature that's kind of a walk yeah i do hike sometimes you do hike yeah so maybe with the weather getting nicer you can do some more hiking i could go to uh either lake radnor yeah or um radnor radnor lake radnor lake is that what it is yeah, yeah tennessee geography is a little little weak in pronunciation and and yeah. yeah you guys say everything weird here like it's louisville oh. it's louisville not louisville i thought it was louisville Louisville. I actually oh. did think that until I was like 12 years old. Yeah, it's it's Louisville. I was very lost. It's yeah. It's Where not. Where did Louie come from? Where's Huey and Dewey? Huey and Dewey. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah. How did that happen? I don't know. It... Who replaced the S with a Y? I apparently I don't know. Is it King King Louis? Would it be King King Probably. Louis? King Louis of France? Yeah, probably. Uh, a word with King Louis and his oh, Huey and Dewey. We're going to have to talk to them about that. Yeah, that's something that we're, we're going to have to go talk to the mayor about that one. Uh, okay. Rita, what are some hobbies you have and something you're looking forward to trying? Uh, so, like, when I'm home, when I get the chance, I like doing, um, playing video games. I like to draw. I want to get out to walk more, so, uh, but my schedule's just been, it's, causing me to be very overwhelmed, but I'm hoping to like free up some things with my schedule and things so that I can get out a little bit more. Like after work, I can go out for a little walk because where uh, I live, like there's a grocery store, Sonic, a Walgreens that I can run to, walk to. So I want to try getting out a little bit more after work some nights. Okay. Just to like do that. <laughs> yeah. And something that might help with that, um, especially with your walking is as we get into spring and summer, it'll be lighter out mm -hmm. later. So yeah. um, sometimes when it gets dark out, you just don't really feel like going outside. But now, uh, you know, if it's lighter later later in the afternoon, early night, you should be good to go. It can be risky going outside at night anyways. That's that's true, yeah, going outside at night. Oh, we see. Yeah, Forgot one last thing, tentacle speeding. Again. No edits. Who are you clapping for? To sink the tentacle. Oh. I, mean, I feel like at this point, we're, we're already 10 minutes deep into the, into the yeah. podcast. All right. Uh, Leo, what you got, man? What, what are your hobbies and what are you looking forward to trying this spring and summer? Well, one thing I've always wanted to try is demolition derbies. Because that, of course, gives you the thrill of destroying things. Destroying your dirt cheap car and destroying other people's cars. Not expensive ones, but just other people's derby cars. Okay, do you want to be a driver in Demolition Derby or you just want to watch them, like in person? I've always wanted to try taking part, whether it be the Ring Track Derby, which is a standard demolition derby, whether it be the Balloon Race Derby, the Cat and Mouse Derby, or even the Sack Derby. Okay, that's pretty cool. So that's something you want to do. What do you do right now? What are your hobbies you do right now? 
As far as outdoors are concerned, it's just taking walks around a neighborhood. That's great. Okay, that's a good one. Riley, what do you got for us? No. <laughs> one hobby I actually tried was uh, drumming. Drumming? Yeah. That's a good one. How, how'd that go for you? It went relatively well until I quit. Why'd you quit? Because so at the time I was getting ready to go to college in, Char in Charleston and I didn't know of any drum places down there. And I've just been way too busy to pick it back up. Well, we've had time the past couple months. To... Yeah, but I didn't, I've, I've just been so busy with stuff we've done here or uh, uh, getting you uh, moving into and getting used to a new house. Just personal stuff has blocked me from getting back into that hobby. Yeah. And I think that's one of the things that I'm trying to kind of drill into you guys that we need to break through that. And it's, it's a rut that we all get into is we find ways to bog ourselves down. And I get it, you know, certain times you're gonna have certain weeks or a month or so where things can stop you from doing what you wanna do. But to really have a fulfilling life, you have to have these hobbies and things that you, you enjoy doing and first to push yourself to try something new. Um, so if you liked playing the drums, there shouldn't be nothing stopping you from trying it out and having some fun, you know? You get, you get home from here, you know, you got four or five hours after work, you can carve out 30 minutes to do some drumming. Correct. It's stuff that there's always going to be a reason not to do something. And that's something that holds us back a lot. Um, you know, if, if Rita wants to try walking, I could come up with 150 reasons why you shouldn't walk. I could, it could be really easy. I could sit here and be like, well, there's not enough time. You should be doing drawing instead. You should be doing that. There's a, I could come up with a laundry list of things for reasons why you can't. Reasons why you should. It'll make you happier. You'll enjoy doing it. Boom. That's all you need. You just need one. At the end of the day, that's really all that matters. Like, if you're doing something that makes you happy, there shouldn't be a reason to stop you. I mean, granted, there's some limitations. Yeah. Like, say, if you have housemates, you have to be respectful of your mm -hmm. housemates. But like other things, it's like if it makes you happy, then you shouldn't, you shouldn't limit yourself to what makes you happy. You shouldn't completely stop you. But I get to what you're saying too, of adjusting into a new environment. Oh, that's so stressful. I hate it. Yeah. Yeah. So, um. Hello, Donald Duck. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I mean, I'd love to. You know, maybe a month from now we're doing a no edits and you tell us that you picked up some drumming. That'd be cool. It sounds like it's something you want to try doing. Um, again. Or get, do again. I wonder if Phil Collins on the drums coming from you. Yes. <laughs> Give us in the air tonight a special musical presentation on no edits by Riley Delaney. Mm. Fish? Yeah, Fish, what you got for us? Well, I, well, I don't know that there are like any like you know hobbies I want to try out, but uh, but as I join new other stuff, uh, I wouldn't mind trying some more walking. Try some more walking, okay? Yeah, yeah. It sounds like a lot of you guys are looking forward to do some walking. I know that um, past couple months we've been kind of cooped up. Weather hasn't been great, obviously during the winter, but um, well, we took a long walk today. That's true. Yeah. Well, I tried to keep up, but I just <laughs> I probably need some a long skate. walk. And Probably need some roll skates to keep up with you. <laughs> what? <laughs> a long walk to me is like six miles. That would actually be a cool idea. Somebody get on a rope, get on roller skates, somebody pulls him with the rope, and he's skating with the rope. <laughs> that that, that sounds would go viral yeah. on TikTok <laughs> really quickly. <laughs> that sounds great in theory, but I feel like And it'd be crazy if he's our follow up. That. <laughs> yeah. oh, yeah. John's weight. Not, not yeah. too big I'm just going to leave it at that. Yeah. 
You talk to tall for me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Alright. Well Dustin Dustin wants to do some walking. You already do a lot, you watch movies. That's 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 a hobby right there. It's yeah, a, that's a good hobby. Yeah, that's true. Watching movies. Um Dave, what do you got? Hobbies you have, one you want to try? I'll tell you what I want to try is powered paragliding. Powered paragliding, okay. Mm -hmm. How how do you how does one do that? How does one begin power paragliding? Well, First of all, you have to um, take lessons. You've got to take flight training okay. and understand how um, uh, the aircraft works. Okay. Um, secondly, for those of you who don't know what um, power, power gliding is, basically uh, you're wearing a backpack with a propeller. It's a motor and a propeller. And it's like a, a, a two-cycle engine oil. I mean, two-cycle engine which uses, you know, two cycle engine oil. Um, you start it up uh, using hand controls, the propeller spins and it inflates the, the canopy or the chute. It goes over your head and, and um, uh, you start running and it lifts you off. Yeah. That's what I'm gonna try. It's an ultra light aircraft. Have you looked into taking lessons? I, I did, but it's very expensive. That's the problem. Okay, so you're saving up a little bit to do that. I want to save up for it, but I I, I couldn't because of this COVID. I wanted very much to save up, but you know, there's there's a lot of things I'd like to have in my possession, but you know, this COVID is just getting in the way. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um. Hmm. We're gonna ask me. We were talking. We were talking to some of the stuff I learned today. Yeah, okay. All right, what do you want to talk about, Joe? Oh, what are your hobbies? Uh, well, my hobby is once in a while, and um, well, I can't get a ride around a lot, a lot, a little bit. And, um, back and forth for work once in a while, and um, I just, um, and when someday I'm by myself. We, we talk about this this morning. And, well, and, yeah, that's the future. Yeah. No, we're talking about hobbies. Uh, Hobbies, like things you like doing. I watch TV, that's a whole lot, but... Okay. Um, well, I did my bike, that's a whole lot. Exercise bike, that's definitely a hobby. Yeah, well... Well... What's something you want to do some more of? Well, uh, if we get... See if we get more... Um, we already got a treadmill in here, we need to get a bike in here, so we, so we, so we can lose that 90 pounds. 90 pounds? Okay. Then, yeah, I'll try to get down two nine on one. Two nine nine. Okay. All right. So we're just doing doing some getting some exercise stuff. Yeah. Okay. That'd well, be cool. we need to. We thought we do exercise every, every one Wednesday Friday when I come up here and we did. We, uh, then we get to take a walk, come back and talk. And yeah. Do do our fun yeah. 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 Well, all of you guys had some good things to say. I think it's important that we try some new things. Um, so I stopped playing basketball, I think a year ago, yesterday. Was it, was it called college? Oh, yeah, I mean, yeah, that was kind of the end of it. Um, I mean, I really didn't want to play after college. Um, that was never really the plan to play after I was kind of done with basketball, but it happened very abruptly. Um, and it kind of left me without anything to do for a couple months. And then I started doing martial arts, which I never thought I would do. Um, now I do jujitsu and Muay Thai, which is very strange. And if you told me five years ago, I'd be doing that. I said, you're crazy. But I tried something new and it ended up being a lot of fun and I enjoy doing it. So I'm kind of encouraging you guys to try some new things, branch out, meet some new people. I know that there's, it's hard to meet people right now, but I think even just starting with new hobbies um, will help you guys get out there and, and make some new relationships. Even if, you know, Rita wants to go walking, maybe you find a group on Reddit who's doing walking for the first time. Who knows? I mean, Rita, you, you have, uh, you, you met one of your better friends yeah. through, uh, is it a video game or TikTok? TikTok, yeah. Through TikTok? Yeah, we're TikTok, yeah. We're best friends. We yeah. video call and stay yeah. almost every night. So, I mean, the, the and, and with that, like, the world of hobbies has changed. Like, what hobbies can be, 
watching movies. They can be playing video games. They can be like hobbies don't have to be just one thing anymore. You can have multiple hobbies. You can do so many different things. I'm just challenging you guys to kind of branch out, try something new. And like, oh, sorry. I was going to say too, yeah. like something like with walking too. What I don't like going to walking trails because like I feel like once you do a walking trail, you're seeing the same thing each time. Something yeah. that helps me to get out and do walking is I'll go out and walk somewhere, but I'll go to a grocery store or I'll go to like some other store because inside something's always changing. There's something always new on the inside, whether it's the decorations or yeah. the theme or they'll rearrange places, stuff like that. Like even if I don't have to do any shopping like the other day, yesterday I went over to the Aubrey Mills Mall. I didn't need to buy anything, but I just wanted to go and see everything and like just it's a huge place to go walking and I did like an hour worth of walking in yeah. this big mall and it was fun. You got to see some cool stuff, see new things. Yeah. It was really cool. And that's like something I think that's a cool way to incorporate walking too, is when you combine it with sightseeing too. Like for some people, they might like walking trails. Oh, for yeah. me, I don't, but I like sightseeing in supermarkets or stores. So it makes yeah. it extra fun and more engaging that way. Yeah. I think that's a great thing that, to wrap this up on is, Maria says like some things are good for some people, some things are good for other people. Everything's super personalized. Your hobbies are going to be your hobbies. You're going to find things that you like, don't like, and uh, just to just keep adapting and moving from there. John, huh. you want to close it out for us? Doing a talk. Can we get a little more volume? Doing a talk. All right, that's it. Do you want more creativity? Peace, subscribe.